So those of you who have heard me speak before know that I am a very big fan of alliteration. So be vocal, valuable, um, show up, speak up. So today I want to share with you what I'm calling the five P's for prevention power. The first P is purpose. All of us here are mission driven and we have really remained true to our purpose of reducing youth alcohol, tobacco, and all other drug rates. The second P is passion. All of us here are true believers in the work we do, and we are all totally committed to transforming our communities. The third P is participation. You are here today, literally thousands strong, ready to go up to Capitol Hill and educate your elected officials. Are you ready to participate by showing up and speaking out on Capitol Hill? Yay! You bet you are. The fourth P is perseverance. We have advocated for what this field needs in good times and in bad. And as a movement, we have dealt with whatever has been thrown at us and we have never given up. We persevere and keep right on fighting for the policies, programs, and funding that are needed for the entire continuum of care, prevention, intervention, treatment, recovery, support. Whole continuum, yes? Yeah. <clears throat> and finally, it's really the synergy of these four Ps, purpose, passion, participation, and perseverance over time which gives our field its fifth P, which is power. Yeah, our collective power is awesome. It's what has both allowed us to save and increase funding for our field. General Dean already told you yesterday and again today, working together since 1994, we've both added new funding as well as staved off cuts to the federal budget, totaling 3.2 billion with a B dollars. It's amazing. <laughs> 